Hi, uh, this is Joseph from Optimize My Sleep, and today we are talking about Oscar. Now, you may be asking yourself, what is Oscar? Like the award show, or like, uh, I think the Oscar was that guy from Sesame Street who was like living in his trash can. Uh, we're not talking about that Oscar today. We're actually talking about open source CPAP analysis reporter. Now, that's a mouthful. But basically, what is it? It's basically... Uh, a program, an open source program uh, used by CPAP users, adaptive ventilator users, BiPAP users, what have you. And basically, it's an open source program where we can track our data. You know, we can track our data over a daily usage, weekly usage, monthly usage, and then even a yearly usage basis just to see what's happening. Right. And today I'm going to walk you through how to find this specific program how to download it, how to install it, how to set up your profile, and finally, how to extract your data from your machine. So step one, uh, we're gonna show you how to download and install Oscar. So we're gonna quickly go to that. All right, so first step. Now, if you click on the link that's uh, in the description of this video, uh, you'll be led to this website. Um, this is basically the official download page for Oscar, as you can see right here. Um, now for the download there's three types of os systems it's offered for so it's there's windows there's a macintosh and this is linux right so today i'm using like a pc so today we're going to use uh the windows download uh, the download is pretty straightforward um it doesn't should take you less than a minute depending how fast your internet is uh just we're just quickly going to go through this together uh, okay do, 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 do. and it's ready so when we when the downloads complete we're gonna open up the file here uh, now it may you know I might show up as a blackout screen in this video but it may ask for administrator access in which you point you just say yes it's very straightforward uh, yes, create desktop, install. Now the installation process shouldn't take too long. It should be relatively quick. It's not a big file. It's not a big program. So you shouldn't really take up too much space on your computer. And when you're done, you just click finish. And the program should load now. Perfect. See, this is the program. Perfect. All right, so I already have this uh, software already downloaded on my computer, and this is what my profile looks like, but we want to start fresh. So what we do here, and what it'll do the first time you do it is you go to profile, and you go to new profile. Now your username today will just be uh, test profile for video, profile uh, for Oscar video. You can put whatever name you want to put here. Uh, I want to put the country I'm in. I'm currently in Canada. You can put your country too. Uh, you can put uh, whatever time zone you are and click next. Uh, this stuff, in my personal opinion, is not that important. You know what I mean? Like you could put your first, last name if you want to. You could put your date of birth. You can put your height. I personally think it's not that important. Uh, same for this too. Like a lot of this data is going to be auto-generated by your chip data. So you necessarily don't have to worry about that. Even the model number, they'll be able to tell just by your chip what type of model of CPAP or ASV you're using. So again, I wouldn't worry about this. Again, your doctor's name, your practice name, you can fill out this information if you want to, but not that important. All right. So this is what basically like a blank machine, I mean a blank profile looks like. You know, there's like nothing filled out. Um and it's just ready to go. So basically when we extract our data, which is going to be the next step of this video, we're going to put that uh, chip into the machine and we're going to go from there. All right, guys. So this part is relatively simple. Um, basically, this is the data extraction part of this video. So the model of machine I use is a ResMed S9. It's an adaptive say, ventilator machine. Now, based on the type of machine you're using, you want to figure out how you extract the chip from your machine. Uh, a lot of times you could just kind of Google 
the model using and just put data extraction. But for mine, it's really easy. All you have to do is uh, click it and then pull it out slowly. Now notice when I pull it out of my machine, it's in the unlocked position, right? And this is very important. When you ever you put your chip in another device, you always want to make sure it's unlocked. See, it's unlocked now. It's on the locked position. Right, and this is because we don't want our data rewritten, right? We don't want it to be erased. So now that it's on the lock position, we want to insert it into our PC. Very simple. Boom. And it should be read by my computer shortly. And then at this point, we're going to transition into the um, data upload portion of this video. Um. Kind of like our data, you can see the chip is being read by my uh, by my PC right now. We want to open up Oscar. So Oscar right now, it's completely blanked. You know, this is a fresh profile and we want to upload our chip data. So what do we do? Uh, we just go over here where it says CPAP SD import and we just click it. It'll see, uh, as I mentioned earlier, <laughs> It'll read it as a VPAP adaptive say, ventilator machine and it'll ask if you want to import it to this location. You say yes. And the again, like the first import is probably going to take you a few minutes because it's so many sessions that need to be imported. But as you keep doing it, it should take you less and less. I'll show you what it looks like when I upload it on my profile. It's really quick. But this time, because it's the first time ever, it's going to take quite a bit. few minutes now almost done just two more percent two more per and oh, we are done right so kind of gives you a quick summary of what you did last night and what your averages are um, I can go to my daily view I can check out my flow rate I can check out my max mask pressure I could check out my overall pressure at night. I could check out my leakages and I could check out you know my snow rate flow limit and I could check out my overall usage. And importantly, I could check out my AHI, right? Which is, we want to keep it as low as possible, right? Uh, how many apneas you're having per hour, right? So very good data. This is the type of data I want to have. And I can go to the night before. And I can go even before that, even before that. I can toggle between different months. Hell, I can even toggle between different years. I'm not going to do that in this video. And let's go back. So let's go back to my regular profile because I'm going to show you how quick it is when you've already established chip data. Now, if I was going to do it on my regular profile, the upload is like very quick, right? It only has to like upload maybe a few sessions or maybe 20 or 30 sessions, right? Versus 210 on the fresh profile. So it's ve relatively uh, quick and easy to, um, to use. And I'm going to get to the importance why I think most uh, CPAP and ASV users should have software like this on their uh, on their home computers uh, in the next section of this video. Hey okay, guys, so now that we are at the conclusion aspect of this video, uh, I hope by the end of this video, you're kind of more, I don't know, familiar with Oscar. See that it's not too hard to use. Again, if I was too fast in this video or it was kind of confusing, I do have an article on my website that's going to be posted in the description of this video that kind of shows you step by step how to use Oscar and hopefully that offers more clarification. Now, you may be asking yourself, like, shouldn't like a sleep doctor or a sleep technician be the one, you know, analyzing your data and tracking it? And yeah, no, they they should be doing that stuff for you. But I think it is important that you, as a CPAP or ASV user, is able to look at your data too, right? Like see what's happening, like look at, you know, your pressure, look at, you know, your usage each night and see if there's any breaks in between like your actual usage and stuff like that. Now, for me, speaking personally, uh, prior to using a full face mask, I used like the nasal mask and... The problem with that, when I started tracking my data, was I was experiencing a lot of mask leakages. So 
to the point where like it was way too many and it was affecting the um kind of the efficacy of like my overall treatment and so my sleep technician i decided that it'd be better for me to try a full face mask and afterwards uh we noticed that um, my overall mass leakages went down significantly and i was you know waking up less in the night and i was feeling better throughout the day so that was like really cool um, really cool aspect of that. So again, I hope this video you found it interesting, or you could you know share it with someone who might find this video interesting. I'm gonna post some more comment like this. Uh, if you have any questions, be, uh, feel free to comment in the comment section below. And again, you know, if you want to see more comment like uh, content like this, subscribe. Anyway, uh, see you guys in the next one. Uh, take care.